And firstly, we'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and we pay our deep respect and give gratitude to elders past, present and emerging. Welcome to Renew 2020 Sustainable House Day. I'm Zada Lau and I'll be interviewing Matt Luthi on his 10 star positive energy home in Queensland, Australia. Uh, two areas where he saved money as a home owner builder and key design principles that he used in designing this thermally efficient home. Welcome Matt and congratulations on your 10 star home. What's the climate zone you're in and what parts did you do as owner builder? Hey Zayda, thanks for the interview. Um, the climate is a subtropical highlands. It's at 520 meters above sea level. Um, it does get quite windy and cold in winter here. Um, what parts have we completed? Basically, we did everything a builder would do um, in place of the builder. We um, did all the planning, all the approvals, um, the engineering, and then in the execution, we did um, schedule all the tradies um, and uh, supervise, and also hands-on work through the whole process. I was on site, you know, every day through the building process. Wow. Okay. So, what were the big ticket financial savings from owner building? You know, I'm building with a boutique builder with Mel in Melbourne at the moment. And anytime I mention sustainable fe features, he says, well, that'll cost you a lot more money. Is that really true? Uh, look, I think uh, sustainable buildings start at the design phase. Um, if you get the design right, right you're 80% there, you know. Mm. Um, so so that's, that's that. And then another big ticket savings is, uh, you know, the 30% builder's margin that, that if you if you organize and you, you're efficient, you, you can save that money right there. Um, if and also you can you can uh, buy the materials where you want them from and um, to the quality you like them. What you see here is um, uh, us unloading the windows that we purchased directly from China, saving you know about thirty thousand dollars. Wow! I'm um, doing that this way. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Okay, so who would you say is suited to be an owner builder, and what technical skills and what sort of time commitment would one need to be an owner builder? Um, I think an owner builder needs to be someone that is organized, that can manage a project, uh, disciplined, um, has um, some people skills to manage tradies. Um, you have to do an owner builder course to get the approval to build, and um, you have to have some time to do it. Um, I think at least three months to get the house to lock up, um, and then you can always take your time to finish the inside out. Wow. So you mentioned earlier that um, a lot of thermally efficient building is in the design. So what sort of design principles did you use in your home? Well, it started with the site should be oriented, oriented to the sun, um, to the north. Uh, the building should be, ideally should be wider than it's deep. You can see on the plan here, um, our building is only about two rooms deep. Um, mm -hmm. The living rooms are in the north and the bedrooms in the south. Um, then, um, <coughs> The, there should be a, the window should be to the main window should be to the north where, where they captured the warmth from the sun so the sun can hit the inside of the house and hit the thermal mass floor uh, which should be dark so it actually stores and captures mm -hmm. and stores the energy of the sun much more efficiently than a light floor um, then uh, keep the windows to the to the east the west and the south to a, to a minimum or shade them out so so they don't they don't get the sun in when you don't want it um, the overhang to the north is keeping the sun out in uh, summer when it's hot and uh, letting in, letting the sun in in winter um, to heat the house. That's sort of the main principles, I think. Okay, so after you've designed your house to suit your site's orientation and characteristics and chosen thermally efficient materials, how then do you go and find reputable skilled labor? Yeah, that's always a bit of a trick. Um, we just looked at local trades, um, you know, thinking that local people don't dirty their nest. Um, so, so, and, and you also know that you find more people that know these trades people, so you can get references. Um, always get three quotes. Um, you probably have to ask six trades to get three quotes. Um, and that, you know, that's sort of the way we did it. Okay, and did you find that you had to sell or, you know, educate your tradies on what are thermally efficient principles or techniques? You don't really have to get them on board. Um, you just need to be sure that they know what you want. Um, you, you know, that they follow the manufacturer's instructions, how to install things. And um, they have to, you know, they have to be within the Australian building code 
and you have you basically make them read the the installation instructions and you have them on site when they come um, and and make them spell out that they will follow these guidelines in their quotation when they when they quote for the work yeah that's an important you also part. Should, um, yeah you probably should keep them on a on a progress payment system to uh, to you know just to keep your last payment back until they finish the job to your satisfaction oh, okay that's a good tip thank you so we need to wrap up now um thanks for sharing your time with us and um apart from you know having this gorgeous comfortable house to live in and taking very little money to heat and cool um building in record time of six months you know what other thing are you most proud of in your home Oh, look, uh, I think we're just really proud to have finished the project to the standard that we wanted to. And um, we really, we feel really comfortable in the house. It's, it's thermally very, very consistent. Uh, it's cool in, cool in summer and warm in winter. Um, and uh, yeah, that's sort of, that's what we're proud of. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much again for sharing your time with us. Um, and I also want to thank the sponsors and volunteers of Sustainable House Day 2020 for making this online event possible. For more expert, independent advice on sustainable housing solutions and technologies, please check out renew.org.au. Uh, renew is a non-for-profit member-based organization, so please consider joining as a member to support ongoing uh, events such as this. Thank you. Thank you, Sina.